rocket science. This is a really simple design of rocket. I'm just going to cut out a small rectangle of aluminium foil. It wants to be just a little bit longer than a match. And I'm going to slightly taper it at one end. I'm going to take a match. I'm going to break off the head. Place the head just shy of the top of the square of uh, foil. The rest of the match head just beneath it and I'm just going to roll that up into the tube of my rocket. It needs to be quite tight around the match head but not incredibly tight because it's got to fit over our nail launch pad. And then I just crimp the end tightly shut with my pliers. Let's crimp it a number of times so it goes into a little point. Then carefully pull out the matchstick, maybe giving it a little bit of a loosen as you go. And place the rocket onto the nail. Again, I want it to be just about slipping from that nail. Launch time then, I'm wearing my goggles, I've got my lip burn to burn out, I'm just going to heat up the area with much and press the I'm going to launch some ethanol rockets. It's a bottle with a hole in the end. I'm just going to put a small amount of ethanol, ethanol vapour in light one end and hopefully the rocket will fly down on this straw, down this string. A little word about safety. I've got goggles on, wearing the lab coat and I've covered the bench in heatproof mats. I can see where my fire extinguishers are. I'm pretty good to go. But I wouldn't try this at home if you can't control conditions like that. So, I don't need much ethanol, not hardly any at all. Basically, ethanol is going to vaporise inside the bottle. And then I'm going to take the bottle to this straw. I'm going to use a long splint to light the open end. It just keeps my hands well away from the bottle of the rocket itself. I wasn't expecting it to work that well. <laughs> This is an application of Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The action in this case is the hot exhaust gases coming out the back of the rocket. The rocket throws the gas backwards. The gas in turn produces a force on the rocket forwards. You can see that the ethanol has actually melted part of the rocket. It's deformed it, so I wouldn't want to use this one again. But the cap itself, I can actually reuse, and most drinks bottles have the same size cap, it's not been damaged. Let's think about what other experiments we could do then. Could we change the size and shape of the rocket? Could we change the size of the opening we put in the bottle cap? Could we actually change the amount of ethanol we put in? Or could we maybe just do an experiment to see how far we could get it if we had a longer track, a longer bit of string for it to fly on? Could you try launching them without this string? Could you add fins on the back to see if you can get it to fly straight? You see how high you could get it? Could you see how the angle of launch changes the trajectory of the rocket? There's loads of science you can do here. 
if you could do it in a controlled space with a responsible person. I'm wearing goggles now, I'm just going to hold my lip Bunsen burner just next to the rocket. Ah.